Lunar Classic burn proposal has gone through and about 60 billion Luna is getting burnt. We've seen the price of Luna double in few hours with this news. Is this enough to save Luna Classic though? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about the proposal, what this, what this means for Luna Classic. If you're looking to buy or sell Luna, I'll share with you my technical analysis and price prediction. And at the end of the video guys, I'll share with you my opinion on the future of Luna Classic. You might not like my opinion, so make sure you watch the video till the end. I'll share with you my thoughts on if Luna Classic can succeed or not. So let's talk about the proposal then. So the proposal uh, for Luna, the, the Luna burn is a tax burn mechanism is to be implemented on Luna Classic to reduce the total supply implementation, a tax and burn mechanism on each buy and sell transactions of 1.2% burn. This mechanism should be true until the total supply equals 10 billion Luna C. After that, this mechanism is disabled and the total supply can never change. This is to be implemented in all transactions and to be suggested officially by Terra team on all social media Media, that all exchanges should do the same thing until condition is met. Another thing is for the official Terra team to share on all social media the official burning address. This will help stop scams. So that was the burn proposal. You can click here, uh, proposal 3568, and read it for yourself. But in a gist, that's a proposal. And if you look at the, the volume of Luna, and you look at the 1.2%, um, the, the, I believe it's about 60 billion when I did the calculation, about 60 billion Terra Classic will be burned. Again, the, the the supply of Luna is still ridiculous. This is only, you know, this is not even a dent. This is like, you know, taking a cup of water of, in, in a sea or the ocean. So it doesn't really have a huge impact just yet. But again, it's, it's good to see they're still making some changes. And what this news have seen, a big price pump i tweeted about it yesterday if you're not following me on twitter you know go check it out guys I, I posted about the lunar burn yesterday and i was expecting a lunar burn and pump the title of the video and we had a huge pump personally guys i'm not holding lunacy or i didn't buy lunacy again if you're holding luna i'll share with you my opinion at the end of the video but from technical analysis point of view if you're following me on youtube guys by the way before i you know get carry on with this video if you do enjoy this type of content guys do hit the like button i'm slightly changing the type of content i produce to really help you guys out let me know in the comment section below what you guys think i also do a free sunday live stream where i share with you trades where i'm taking beforehand couple of altcoin trades I shared with you uh, they've worked really well you can check out a Sunday live stream also the Bitcoin scalp trade hit target as well so every Sunday I do a live stream make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button you can ask me questions about which coins I'm looking to buy uh, what coins we're trading in the Rockstar trading group and all that good stuff and if you are interested in, t in taking your trading to the next level jo join our amusing community I'll leave the links below for you to check out you can trial us for less than 30 bucks so guys let's carry on with the video from my trading strategy guys when we break floor I teach about this is like a Rockstar trading strategy big part of my trading strategy is support break. Luna C broke support at the start of this month and that's when I said look I'm not below this I'm not going to hold get back above it yeah I'm happy to buy same with my Luna trade strategy since then guys Luna Classic kept dumping and dumped about 65% now it's had a pumped into resistance if you are holding Luna guys I would sell this is a sell level for me and if we can start bouncing back above there we can look to buy with stop loss below these lows and see if we can ride it back above but at the moment this is a news related pump and usually these get sold into in my opinion about you know eight out of ten times seven out of ten times these get sold and trading is all about probabilities and using the probabilities you see me you know, look for trades like trend following trades like this trade it was breaking out we look for longs i shared the exact live setup and it hit target this setup would be bearish for me and i would if you're holding lunacy i would look to at least sell half and then if it starts trend changing back above then i'd look to buy even if you believe in it that's how i would look to play it and then you know potentially if it gets back above you're having to buy back a bit higher but it saves you in case it dumps a lot so from technical analysis point of view the key level i've got drawn here is on 8952 and as long as it's below there I don't want to hold ideally I would like to regain these um, this key zone which is above you know a $10,000 level so if it starts getting back above there then I might even look to buy uh, Terra Classic but I want to know what's actually going on with the project as well so 
that's the technical analysis and that's the big news. Let's talk about Terra Luna long term. The Terraform Labs have said it themselves that, you know, they won't be supporting the Luna C. And that is a, a quite a big thing to say. So I don't think this has much of a future. I actively validate on Classic and will continue to do so until it has no traffic. People are still using it and getting value from it. So who knows, it may continue to run for a while and get a group of people using it. So this, that is a really important uh, note to make that, you know, even the team is saying that they're not supporting it. But Terra, the Luna Classic team still has a huge, big followers. But the, the question that you need to ask yourself is, have they got a community of developers? Luna has still got, a, you know, whatever you think about Duquan, they still have amazing builders and developers on their team and they could come up with something. And I'm mainly looking at, you know, Luna, the Luna 2.0, and they might create something in the future and that could, you know, bring Luna back. I'm not saying it will. Watch my Luna video where I talk about it in a bit more detail. But Luna, so you do not have that. So we've got to be really careful on, you know, hodling something where not much development is going to happen, happen potentially. If it does, great, you can look to buy it. And I, I personally like to wait and see before I put my hard earned money into it. So that is a really important point to make. And an example I can give you is the Ethereum Classic and Ethereum drama back in the day. Lots of people went with Ethereum Classic. And I myself, you know, I'm first one to put my hand up. I was in the Ethereum Classic crowd because I thought, look, Ethereum, you can't just fork and change something, you know. Ethereum Classic, I thought, was more pure. And, you know, it. I, I was found out wrong very soon because, you know, Vitalik Butrin and all the key developers which gives value to something was on Ethereum, the new Ethereum. So for me to, you know, keep believing in Ethereum, the old one wasn't that the best idea. And I had to change from Ethereum Classic to Ethereum. And that's been one of the best decisions. You know, I talked about buying Ethereum when it was breaking $100 in the last cycle, way cheaper uh, in 2017 or earlier than that. You know, I made crazy money on Ethereum by changing my opinion. So at the moment, if you ask me if I want to be hodling Luna C or Luna A, I'm not hodling either. I mainly hodled Bitcoin and Ethereum. I hodled Luna back in the day with because I loved the project with what they were doing with Luna and UST. I thought it was crazy mechanism and we saw the demand and supply and Luna pump and, you know, it was fun. I miss Luna. I'm not going to lie. You know, I love Luna. I made crazy money from it and, you know, I owe a lot to Luna and, and, it's quite sad to see what happened and and especially hopefully you know people in the group we always talk about risk management we exited around 45 dollars so we've not been burnt as bad but i know people on youtube twitter my friends have been uh Twitter and internet friends have been hurt. So it's really sad to see what's happened. But, you know, they had something going and that's why the price pump. If they can create something else in the future, then yes, I'd potentially hold Luna again. But at the moment, I'm not. Mainly in and out trades, I'm happy to do. But if I had to pick between Luna C and Luna 2.0, I know it's a little Luna C video. I'm going to back Luna A just because of that reasoning. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my opinion and that I, Luna A could potentially succeed over Luna C? Let me know in the comment section below. One positive news I could find is that uh, the, the number of hodlers increased 500% in a month. That could be due to all the, all the forks and you know all the hype that we've seen of Luna and Luna C. That could be the reason why. Another reason could be that Luna C is the price is so cheap. People think that if it goes to a dollar, they'll be they'll make it. Those could be a couple of reasons. But again, I've, I'm try I try to give an unbiased opinion. I want to share with you the facts first, and then I share with you my opinion with reasoning behind my opinion. But I'm trying to look at the, both the positives and negatives. But in my opinion, I would be leaning more towards Luna 2.0 or Terra 2.0 because they still have developers and they could make something of it. Um, but just to summarize this video, this news is bullish and we're seeing the price of it. If the burning mechanism and hype carries on and it starts breaking back above here, I'd look to buy it. This is not the level to buy. It's already doubled in price. This is where you can look to take some profits. If it gets back above here, we can look to buy. So guys, that's the video. Before I end the video, comment below your thoughts. Do you like Luna C? Do you think it could succeed? What is your price prediction? Do you prefer this to Luna 2.0? Comment below. If you have any questions, you know, someone asked me about Luna staking video. I'd to make that next week if i can luna 2.0 staking if you have any questions comment below and then um, i requested which coins you want me to review in the community section you can let me know which coin you want me to review in the community section and i'd look to make a video for you guys 
this weekend so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel out guys so if you do enjoy this type of content and you enjoy the hard work that i put in for these videos and bringing you this content do hit that like button and also just share this video with other people by liking commenting more people lunar hodlers will see uh, this video and it helped grow lunar classic or lunar community so do hit that like button and comment below so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much